Hi guys, it's Misty. Welcome to another card video. So the theme this week at Always Fun Challenges is black and white. And this is a fun challenge because you can take this in so many different directions. Um, I almost did a Halloween card and at the last minute I decided to switch it up and do a, a Hello Friend card. So I'm using um, obviously just black and white paper but I'll have links to all the products I used in the description below and as always I'll have more details and more pictures over on my blog. Um, so the stamp stamp set I'm using is from Mama Elephant. It's Hello Friend Wishes and I just decided to um, heat emboss this sentiment. I think white embossing powder on um, black paper looks really really awesome I love it it's nice and crisp and I don't know there's just something really classy about black and white backing up just a bit I used the cross stitched frame border dies by memory box to get that um, cross stitched border on my black cardstock here and then I used my anti-static tool um, which I'll wipe off here after I uh, heat set it so I'm using my new favorite tool, the Tim Holtz platform. And I lined it up at one inch uh, just because the stamp was, it was touching the side. So um, I didn't want to interfere with my stamping. So I just moved it over to the one inch mark. And I'm using my Versamark here. The only thing, uh, one of the things I, <laughs> have to get used to with the platform is it always wants to um, I don't know if it sticks or um, it, it you can pull it out so for some reason whenever I try to open and close it really quick it locks in place and I think it just uh, it's not pushed all the way down or something like that but it always happens to me every time I use it <laughs> like right there so I went ahead and stamped that twice because the first run through, um, it didn't cover all of the letters. So this is a brand new, I've had the stamp set for quite a while, but this is the first time I've used it. So, And then I'm just going to add the white embossing powder. My cards have been pretty simple lately. Um, I'm not getting too technique on you. Um, <laughs> my, these kids have uh, kept me pretty busy lately with uh, football and school and all that stuff. So once football is over, I'll probably have some more time um, to try some different techniques. But for now, my cards are going to be pretty easy, quick cards. So I'm just wiping off any stray embossing powder with a fine paintbrush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and heat set it. I just love this stamp right here. I love the font, the scriptiness of it. It's really pretty. See the way it just pops once you heat that color? I would think hot pink would look really good too on black. Ooh, that might be another one I'd try. But for this week, we're going to stick with black and white. So I'm just taking a microfiber cloth and wiping off all of that excess, excess um, anti-static powder, which I think is just baby powder, but it helps. And I'm using some Perfect Pearls. Uh, I think the color is also called Perfect Pearls, but I was trying to, I wanted it to be glittery or sparkly, I guess. And I remember trying this technique um, a while back after watching a video uh, from Jennifer McGuire and except for she did it um, with some distress inks but I just didn't see where I messed up is I didn't wait for it to dry so after you put the powder on I spritzed it with water and that's supposed to set it but I didn't wait and so some of the um, splatters from my squirt bottle were bigger than others and when I wiped it don't know why I did that um, it kind of smeared those larger water drops so I wasn't really happy with it 
So I'm just taking my cloth and I'm wiping off as much as I can at that point. Um, and I'm using the shimmer spritzer instead, which it, it worked out great because it still has the perfect pearls, but then, you know, then it has that shimmer spritz as well. So it turned out really pretty. So I'm just using one of these We Are Memory Keepers embossing folders, the 3D ones, and I, I love these embossing folders. I just, I don't use these enough, but um, yeah, so I decided I, I would have been happy with the card just as is right here as you see it, but I decided to add this cute little flower die that came in last month's uh, stamp kit from Simon Says Stamp. So I decided to add that as well. And I'm going to add four, I thought I added five layers um, just to, to give it some dimension. And using my trusty little glue pen here to glue those together. But I did switch it up and I'm using that fine, it's more of a fine tip glue pen just because um, this is such a, a thin, intricate little um, die that the two-way glue pen was a little bit too thick for it. Love my glue pen, but I love that fine tip one as well. All right, um, I'll have all the, the dimensions on my blog as well, but I, I did a pretty basic sizes. And I ran out of card bases, so I'm just gonna quickly cut a, a card base here. I need to, one of these days, I just need to take a day and stock up on my car, my card bases and my envelopes. So I'm running out of both of those. My card base is the Nina Solar White 110 pound card stock. It's pretty much what I always use for my card bases. And now I'm just gonna glue it all together. Okay, I just have to share this with you. In one of my last videos, I can't remember which one, I was saying that, you know, we haven't won a football game and uh, it's, we're due for a win. And I'm so excited to say that our last game, we actually won a game. Yay! I'm so excited for them. We didn't have a game last weekend um, due to all the, the fires all around us. But um, the week before that, we actually won. So we're heading off to another game tomorrow. And I'm hoping for another success story. It's a pretty exciting game. So I was just going to glue it all down and make it flat and then at the last minute I decided to pop up this um, this card front on some craft foam. So I have a little stack of pre-cut craft foams uh, next to my desk but they are cut to four and five and a quarter so this was a little bit smaller than that, so I just cut off the excess. And then I'm going to use my Be Creative, my favorite adhesive for craft foam here. That just gives it just a little extra something. The card's pretty simple, so I'm just trying to jazz it up a bit. So again, I, I, I could have looked at it just like that, but I really like that little flower there. And this time I am gonna use my two-way glue pen here. This is what I use for most intricate dies. So once I get the flower in place, yeah, it stuck to my finger. I wasn't too happy about that. But once I get that in place, I'm just going to add some finishing touches. I'm going to start off by adding some Spectrum Noir, um, I think it's called Sparkle. I don't know, it's a um, clear glitter pen. It's like the Wink Estella. And I couldn't decide what I wanted to add. I had these kind of silver glittery um, embellishments, but in the end I went with these silver, these little silver half bead thingies. Well, they're called rhinestone stickers, but, and then I always take off the sticker that it comes on because they just 
don't stick very well. And then I add my own glue to them. And I pulled out my multimedia matte glue, which is what I should have used. But because there's, uh, you know, so much tex texture to this card front, I decided to use these little glue dots. But they were too big for the little rhinestone. So I just cut them in half and then had a heck of a time getting them on the back of these little things. But once I got them on, I was happy with it. So, and that is it. That is my card for this week. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next week. Bye.